Manhattan is no stranger to wealth, but Billionaire's Row, an enclave around 57th Street, has become a symbol of the city's increasingly stupendous riches, stretching from Columbus Circle to about Park Avenue. This strip of super luxurious tall buildings has concentrated unimaginable affluence in one place. Billionaire's Row in New York City has become a punchline, a source of awe and the target of intense scrutiny. Seriously, who does not want a glimpse inside its gleaming towers? Today, we are gonna take a glimpse of the Billionaire's Row and some of its expensive skyscrapers before beginning. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button and press that ring icon for further updates. Billionaire's Row was unofficially christened in the months leading up to the 2014 completion of 157, a mixed-use super tall building at 157 West 57th Street. Although the neighborhood already had other pricey properties like Dude's Bank Center, formerly Time Warner Center, it did not become Billionaire's Row until the arrival of ultra-luxury super tolls like 157, 432 Park Avenue, 53 West, 53rd and 220 Central Park South. Three of the eight towers are on the 57th Street, a bustling thoroughfare that includes some classic New York City destinations including the Russian Tea Room and Carnage Hall. Number 1. 111 West 57th Street also known as Stanway Tower. It has been called the world's skinniest skyscraper and its height to width ratio is 24 is to 1. Nicknamed the Stanway Tower because it sits on the site of the old Stanway Hall. The building will top out at 1428 feet. The 86 story tower is made up of 60 condos most of which are full floor residences and includes 20,000 square feet of amenities including a lounge with a Stanway Grand Piano as the centerpiece. Active listings at 311 West 57th Street range from $18 million for a 3 bedroom to $57 million for a 4 bedroom penthouse according to Street Z. Number 2 157 West 57th Street, commonly referred to as 157. 157 was finished in 2013, topping out at 1005 feet. For several years, the 90 story skyscraper held a record for the most expensive home ever sold in New York City. In 2014, a penthouse at 157 sold for $100 million setting the record for most expensive home ever sold in the city at that time. It was until 2018, four years later, that the buyer was revealed to be billionaire Michael Dell, the founder and CEO of Dell Technologies. That record was broken in 2019 when billionaire hedge fund manager Ken Griffin brought a $238 million penthouse in another billionaire's row tower 220 Central Park South. According to Kerbed, 157 has been nicknamed the Billionaire Building. Chinese billionaire Liu Yukin and billionaire hedge fund manager Bill Ackman are both known to have bought units in the tower. Ackman, along with a few very good friends, bought a $91.5 million penthouse in the building in 2012 with the intention of flipping it rather than living in it. Current listings in the tower range from $3.85 million for one bedroom condo to $58.5 million for a full floor residence on the 87th floor. Number 3 225 West 57th Street also known as Central Park Tower Central Park Tower also known as North Storm Tower reached its 95th floor at the end of March 2019, surpassing 432 Park Avenue and making it the tallest residential building in the New York City, and as it claims the world. When completed, the tower will stand at 1550 feet tall. 
the first seven stories of the skyscraper will house a 2,80,000 square foot North Storm flagship store. The skyscraper is the prizest ever condominium project in the US, according to the Wall Street Journal, with expected sales of more than $4 billion. Central Park Tower is made up of 179 luxury units or 20 of which are priced at $60 million or more. Gary Barnett, the founder of Extel Development, which is behind the building, told the Wall Street Journal in January that sales in the tower have been decent, but no major transactions have yet been made public. Number 4. 2020 Central Park South 2020 Central Park South, designed by architect Robert A. M. Stern, sits right along Central Park on 59th Street. The tower comprises an 18-story building called the Villa, behind which will be 953-foot tower with 118 luxury condos. 220 Central Park is the home to the most expensive home ever sold in US history. Sales in the 79-story building have already broken records. In January 2019, billionaire hedge fund manager Ken Griffin bought a dollar 238 million penthouse at 2020 Central Park South, making it the most expensive home ever sold in the US. According to Street Easy, there are no active listings at 220 Central Park South, but three condos are listed for rent, two three bedrooms for dollar 59,000 a month each, and another three bedroom going for to the 60,000 a month. Number 5. 53 West 53rd Street. Sales at the skyscraper, which is steps from Rockefeller Center and top out at its full height of 1,050 feet in August 2018, have been poor partly due to the abundance of super luxury towers in the area. Grants reported in February 2019 most expensive sale to date in the still under construction building just went into contract for $33.5 million. Current listings range from $3.1 million up to $63.8 million for a penthouse. The tower which sits adjacent to the Museum of Modern Art is expected to welcome its first residence later in 2019. It has 145 units spread over 82 floors. Number 6. 432 Park Avenue 432 Park Avenue, which stands at 1,396 feet, held the record for the tallest residential building in New York City until the end of March 2019, when the still under construction Central Park Tower surpassed it to become the tallest residential building in the world. The 84-story tower, developed by Harry McCall, currently offers listings between $11.9 million and $41 million. 432 Park Ave is the home to several notable residents. Notable buyers at 432 Park Ave include Saudi billionaire Fawaz al Khoury, who was bought a 96th floor penthouse for $87.7 million back in 2016. Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez bought a three-bedroom condo in the building in 2018 for $15.3 million, but they put it back on the market in January 2019, less than a year after buying. And in 2019, a penthouse previously listed at $82 million sold after being split into two separate units and given a $21 million price total price cut. Number 7. 520 Park Avenue 520 Park Avenue, another Robert A. M. Stern designed building, is made up of 35 residences. The 64 story limestone tower saw some major sales in 2018. In November, vacuum cleaner and hair dryer guru James Tyson bought a $74 million six bedroom penthouse in the tower. And also at the end of 2018, prominent Wall Street investment banker. Ken Moels bought a penthouse at, at 520 Park Avenue for $62 million. Current listings include a 4-bedroom unit for $20.5 million and another 4-bedroom for $31 million. So that's it for today's guys. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next video.